In this video, we will talk about the problem where sometimes uh, we have where you use RStudio to analyze data and generate an HTML file from either R Markdown, R Notebook, or Quarto file, and you share it to somebody, send to somebody, or upload for homework. And then the other person, when they get the file, then open it up, it looks like uh, it looks like this. Okay, it looks like this, where some part of it is fine, but all the plots are missing. Okay, so that's the problem we're gonna uh, we're gonna focus on. If you're not patient, the short answer, the solution is that you add a one line in the header for Quarto. You can see self uh, dash content same column true, and this is uh, this will work. Um, so the HTML file HTML file generated will be um, includes the plot inside. This also works for R Markdown. But here, um, that's the solution, but we want to go a little bit deeper on the reasons why this happened. And this will also help us understand what is Markdown, what is R Markdown and Quarto, and what is HTML and also WebAML um, uh, uh, formats. So, um, so we're going to go explain why this happened and, and explain this. First, what is HT, HTML anyways? For example, here in the photograph, an HTML file. If I double click, this shows up as my home page. I have figures, I have links here. I, I, I can click and go to my home page, but I have text uh, head, headings, right? And then if you go to the um, folder, you can open up this HTML file in a text editor. Here I'm using Notepad. You will see that this is how it looks like the source code for this HTML file. This is header, for example, go, title goes here, and this part, um, this part goes, um, this part goes here, and then this is the graphics, and you have uh, secondary headers and text. This is a paragraph. This is another header. This is another paragraph. Here's the, this link. This is the URL. This is the uh, Okay, this is how a, a HTML source code looks like. Now notice that here we are referring to an image file. The image was in content in this here. So that's where this comes from. So this is the image. And you are, if you open up, this is the, is the image file. All right. Now, supposedly, if you send this HTML file to somebody without this file, or you delete this in the, in the hard drive, for example, and you refresh this, and then this will show up as this. This is exactly what happened with your R Markdown and rendered HTML file. Essentially, you share the HTML file, but the plots are in different folder, a different file, which doesn't come with it. Okay, so that's the uh, now uh, for HTML file. By the way, if you go to a very complex data file, a web page, for example, and if you want to right click and open the um, the uh, view the page uh, view the page source. I think you could um, you will you will see that this is I mean exactly a HTML file. For example, this is the tag, different tags here. There's a more complex uh, complex pages, but and it also have some JavaScript embedded in there. Uh, but this is the the same basic idea is the same. All right. So now let's reproduce this problem here. Um, well, let's start our studio. All right, start our studio. I always recommend you go here and check for updates for our studio, and also make sure this R version is fairly new here. So every time you're trying to do something new, I always recommend that you start a new project. Uh, so it's a folder that contains. Um, uh, all the relevant files or documents here. So I'll choose this. And then I have an existing folder in here. I'll make sure this is uh, new and there's nothing in the, in the folder. So there's new folder here. And then this is a project created. Uh, once created, you can see I have two files that has emerged. Our project file, which next time you can click on it and you can go to, uh, continue to work on it, and some other uh, user files in here, right? So I have a project. Let's uh, go ahead and the new file, uh, Quarto documents. And obviously, I, I will see Quarto. Um, oh, um, 
part of a rendering test. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. And you can see we have a example file. Um, and then for demo purposes, let's add a chunk. So we have a histogram of our norm uh, 100. 100, and this is renders uh, a histogram sample just for uh, demonstration. So I save this par test QMD, and this is um, generated. Obviously, right now, if you go back to the folder, you can see there are three. Um, this is the uh, quarter file. Okay, this quarter file is very small. This is a plain text. Okay, and you can always switch back to the source. This is source code. And this is more viral. You can see things are um, uh, formatted. So you render this. If you render this, you'll see you'll notice that uh, the folder. Uh, so there is a folder subfolder created quarto test files, and when it when it is finished, this is rendered. You can see this histogram is here. If you go back to the folder, you can see this HTML file that's in there. This is the HTML file is 19 KB, it's very tiny, it's still very tiny, okay? So what I wanted to you to pay attention to here is that um, this HTML file also doesn't have the image embedded in there. The image file is actually in here. For example, you can see this is exactly the plot that is showing up in here, okay? Showing up here. So the same uh, so the same uh, idea, if you share somebody that is just this HTML file without the supporting image files, uh, so they will not be rendered correctly. Okay, so for example, if you come here and delete this, well, uh, before, I, um, before I do this, so it's, it's a little bit hard. So let, on your own desktop, so if you copy this and if you move to a different folder, for example, if I move to a different folder, um, let's, I'm gonna delete this. There's nothing in here, okay? Um, I am going to come here, copy this HTML, and I paste in this folder. If you paste, in, your, in my computer in Windows, the associated folders come along. Okay, so in here it always works, but in some other people's data uh, computer it doesn't work. So Windows is a little bit smart in that way. Now, but if you come here, if you come here and actually delete this, and uh, if you then click on this, and then you will have something like this. Okay, this is the uh, the this is the problem. Now, a, a slight detour in here. So a lot of time things appear on your own laptop. And, you know, it doesn't really um, look the same on other laptops. If you look at very careful here, this is localhost semicolon five seven four 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 five. This is the port number actually. So this file, you know, works fine. This the only reason this works fine is because this is serving the port. This is dynamic. So if you would close this R Studio file, and this will, this will disappear. Okay, this will disappear. So this is a more dynamic uh, file that is rendered. This is a sidetrack. Let's see how do we, are we going to solve this problem. So again, so I'm gonna uh, chat with you know with uh, Chat GPT here. Now my chat is like this. So I said how to make a quarter file render as a standalone HTML file. That can be viewed on another computer. That's my question, and then I include this header. In addition, I have three layers of double quotation uh, in enclose this. If you look at the conversation, what is suggesting that okay, you need to change this so that I include this line format HTML self content. Okay, so we come back to H to here. Now, what it is saying is that we're going to come here and paste this. You know, we'll talk about what this means later on. Let's see if this will work. Okay, if we render this and it's finished, if you come here, uh, looks good on here. If you look at the files, now this time, look at first of all, the folder disappeared. Okay, secondly, this file you can see is one, um, 1112 KB. 
So before it was 12, okay, almost like 50 times larger file. If you open up this file now, uh, you can still open this, uh, these guys. You'll notice that uh, these have a lot of stuff in it, a lot of stuff in it, including some part of this is actually the graphics that was coded here. A lot of them actually graphic coded there. So this is, um, okay. So um, if you share this file via email or upload to some website, this should, you know, appear on different computers always. Now let's go back to this here, okay? So um, these are, um, trying to understand what goes on in here, okay? So um, now, so come back to ChatGPT. So what I, my question is, what are these headers called? Now the headers are called, um, as what the, the headers are called, way ml aren't an, Markup language, okay, and uh, so in Quarl, this is used to uh, to tell Quarl how to render things and, and stuff like that, right? Um, so explain what are WebML headers with examples. You can see a lot of examples here, simple ones and more complex ones, and there are um, okay, and there's our you know, uh, table contents here. And also there are actually books, you know, for example, this on this book, you can Google search and find this book. I think uh, talking about what AML, you can see here, they talk about, you know, the viewer examples here. I mean, you can solely rely on ChatGPT. These are so much better. You can see table contents. It's true, the table contents will be rendered in here. Okay, now one thing I want to notice is these, guys, these things are actually very stringent. And uh, so you can see the uh, two semicolon here, there's a space, and then this is a tab. You can't, you can't mess with this. So for example, you do this, and uh, if you render, uh, you will throw an error. Okay, you will throw an error because the hierarchy is that this is part of this, this is part of that. Okay, so in, uh, so you don't, so you can mess with this. Now, in this case, though, uh, you could actually do this. You could, um, so this is a little bit more simple, but you don't need this. This is actually very strange, and this one works. This is works fine. The same thing works for um, R Markdown, and uh, the same thing works for R Markdown, and also for, I believe, if you new file, um, Quarrel presentation, uh, it should work the same thing. Okay, so presentation, I think I believe this should work uh, the same way. You can see that you can see self content true. You render this uh, presentation, and this should give you a self contained. Um, file okay should give you a self contained file hopefully yeah you can see here there is a presentation.html which is three megabyte uh, large so this file uh, if you open it up this should open in different computers um, or will look exactly as as okay so the same thing with uh, R markdown now now the, uh, the w one last thing I will uh, mention here is that um, you could switch back and forth the source code um, for the Quarrel document, for example. This will be the same as if you come here and open up, open this up with a text editor. And a kind of text editor, you can see this is the same, right? Uh, this is the same, uh, now this one. Yeah, so this one. Okay, so it will be the same. Um, there's no formatting is this. Notice all of these are special characters that signify this is a header here. So this is called Markdown. And, and uh, obviously, for example, here, Markdown. What are Markdown format? Markdown is lightweight, um, lightweight uh, markup language. So it's kind of a little bit confusing. Markdown is a mark a lot very used to signalize headers and items and, and things like this. 
and uh, tables, you know. So, for example, if you copy this table and come back to here, and uh, if you can, uh, and let's see, we can paste in here. If you go to the zero, we have a table in here. Okay. So the last thing I will, will mention here is that uh, the, you can see uh, there always need to be a space blank um, a line here. Okay. So for example, this works running code is here. If we gonna do this and come back here, will becomes um, uh, will be if you'll be messing up this. You can see is if you especially if you render. It becomes um, uh, becomes uh, becomes the running code uh, will be will be uh, rendered. Where is this? Uh, yeah, here. So this is will not be recognized as a new header, new section. So it's important that you give an extra line. Okay, give extra line. Not not here. And so if you are messing with the source code, you need to come here, and this time it should work fine. Okay, it should work fine. You can see. So that's the last I want to mention. Now recap: what we did, we talked about HTML. What is HTML? And the the YAM headers for RSU in Quarto and R Markdown. And also we briefly discussed what is Markdown. Thank you.